Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard, and today I'm going to show you how to use this overnight boarding kennel financial forecasting spreadsheet. So this is a spreadsheet you can use if you're a current owner of a boarding kennel, or if you're thinking about or opening a boarding kennel uh, in the near future, you can use this online spreadsheet uh, to kind of figure out how much money you're going to make, what your costs are going to be, what your expenses are going to be. It just gives you kind of a nice one year outlook of if business goes as such and such, will you make money? Will you not make money? Um, basically, that's how it'll work for you. Uh, what you're going to want to do, though, uh, to get access to the spreadsheet is go to file here, and then you're going to want to download it. Uh, the version that you can see is not changeable. It is a frozen or frozen version. So mo go download it uh, on your own computer, and then you can go and start playing with it and having fun with it. So let's just go through what we have to do here. Um, step one says enter all six values in the in the assumptions there are actually seven values right now um, but these are the assumptions you're going to make about your business uh, the things you're going to be paying for how much you're going to pay your employees how much you're going to be charging for overnight boarding and things like that and these are going to help the system guesstimate your uh, your future income and expenses so let's say our rent and our mortgage per month let's say it's going to be thousand dollars a month is our mortgage or our rent and let's say there you can see now over here, yearly profit just went down to your $12,000 in the hole. Why is that? Because this $1,000 has been put down here into the cost calculations, and now your rent for $1,000 every month is showing. And so now you have a $1,000 monthly costs, and at the end of a year, you are $12,000 in the hole. And so all those top assumptions are going to get put down here and start calculating your yearly income. Then we're going to do or your yearly costs. Then we're going to do the yearly income right here, the revenue, and then we should see how much money we make. So let's say our utilities per month are going to be $75. Our insurance for our business is going to be about a buck twenty-five a month, 125 that is. Business expenses. This is things like software, uh, food for your office, dog treats, uh, anything you're going to have to buy once a month. You buy stuff for your business, your supplies, let's say. This will go right here. So let's say we spend about $200 a month on office supplies and other knickknacks and things we need for our business. For our employees, if you're going to have an employee at your business, you need to put in a guesstimated wage. So let's say we're going to pay our employees $12.50 an hour. And then the average overnight boarding... Now, with boarding, there's going to be many different price variations at your business. You're going to have prices that you charge for one dog uh, overnight boarding. There's going to be prices for two dogs for overnight boarding that are going to be different. Maybe one night boarding is $25, but two, night, uh, two dogs in the same kennel is $40 because they get a discount if they have two pets. So you're going to have to basically guesstimate your average here. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll help you at least get an idea of how much money you'll make. So let's say if we normally charge $25 for one night for one dog and we charge $40 per night for two dogs in the same kennel or the same run, if we average those, it's going to be about $32.50. So let's just say our average boarding overnight fee is $32 a night. And here it says the number of boarding kennels. So how many kennels will your business have? Ours has 20 total runs, so we put 20 there. And there we go. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that our cost calculations are almost all done except for employee salary and startup cost here. And you can see right now we're $16,800 in the hole at the end of 12 months. So now what we have to do is fill out the kennel occupancy. Kennel occupancy. So we have 10, 20 total kennels, and we have to guesstimate during our first month how many of those kennels will be full each night. And so for the first month, let's say we're just starting out, we're going to say maybe 5 of 20 will be full most nights. Now, how revenue is calculated here at the bottom is Doggy Dashboard assumes that for 20 days per month, you'll hit that five kennel maximum. But then for the other days of the month, you're going to be empty. Uh, and so you won't hit that five, that five level, that five kennel occupancy. This is once again, is just an assumption. You can't really know for certain, but you don't want to say that every single day of the month, you're going to have five dogs in your business because that's just not a, that's not reality. You're going to have days when there's no one there whatsoever. And so to keep your forecast uh, kind of less optimistic and more real, we use a 20 day per month average. You can always go in here uh, when you want, when you download this and switch this 20 right up here in the formula, you can make it to 30. That means 30 days per month. Um, you're more than welcome to change these formulas. And so let's say in the first month we have five, then we the next month we have seven, nine, eleven, and let's just say we do that same. Uh, we'll go thirteen, fifteen, 
uh, 17. And then let's say for the last uh, five months, we hit the 20, ma the 20 uh, kennel max, basically. So now you can see the first month you made $3,200 in revenue because five days per week for 20, five kennels were filled at $32 times 20 uh, total days of business. And you can see now at the end of, uh, at the end of 12 months, we're making 12,800 a month in boarding, which is not too bad. Now we're going to scroll down here and do our last few things. We need to figure out uh, our monthly salary for our employees. So employees uh, will be get 80 hours. It says number of employee hours. 80 hours is a part-time employee. Doing 20 hours per week, four weeks per month would be 80 hours. So let's say we have a part-time employee for the first six months. So we'll do 80 here. The first six months, we're going to have a part-time employee. And then at the end of six months, we're getting so busy, we're going to have two part-time employees, which means we now have 160 hours a month to pay out because it's two employees working 20 hours per week for four weeks per month. And so there you go. Now our salaries are put in there. So now you can see in the first six months, we're paying $1,000 a month in salaries to our employees. In the second six months, we're paying $2,000 a month. Now, if we scroll down here, the last thing we have to do is put in our startup costs. This is going to be anything, a one-time fee uh, for acquiring your business or for building your business or for something along those lines. So let's say that you actually built your business, you built your kennel and your and your back 40 of your property, and let's say it cost you around $8,000 total. This includes building the kennel, doing the legal paperwork, uh, setting up your website, any one-time fees that you have to deal with when you're building your business. Uh, we're going to put 8000 in there as our total startup costs, and we're going to move over. Now you can see that the bottom here shows you that in month one, you were $7,200 in the hole uh, because you're trying to pay off this huge $8,000 startup costs. Uh, and so then month one, you're $7,200 in the hole. The second month, though, you made $2,080 after all was said and done, which is not too bad. So that $2,080 gets taken out of that $7,200 loss, and now you're down to a $5,120 loss. And here you can see that at the end of three months, you're still in the hole, but on the fourth month, you are now up $2,880, which means you are out of the hole and you have made $2,880 of pure profit. And now if we just scroll over here, you can see at the end of 12 months, your kennel made $70,480 and you're making roughly $9,400 a month. Now this does not take into account taxes. Just remember taxes are something you have to pay on all this money. And uh, if you put tax, if you figure out your taxes, you'll probably be down another, you'll make 75% more or less of this final. Uh, if your country pays 25% taxes, the U S is about 23% for small business owners, but this does not take into account taxes right now. Maybe I'll add a tax uh, line in the future, but I can't make any guarantees. Um, and so that's how it works. And now let's say you want to drop your boarding fees from 32 to 25. You simply change this to 25. And now you scroll down and you can instantly see how this affects your business. So now in the last one, it took you three months to pay off your business. In the fourth month, you were making profit at $25 a month uh, boarding. You now take four months to pay it off. And at the end of the year, you made $45,000 instead of $70,000. And let's just say for fun, you get you uh, want to find a place that's much cheaper so your rent goes down to 600 or your mortgage and you now you're charging 45 dollars a month for your boarding fees if you scroll down here you can see instantly now you made 121 thousand dollars this year and you paid it off in two months so that is how you use the uh boarding kennel financial forecasting spreadsheet once again i told you i'm patrick from doggy dashboard doggy dashboard is an online software package business management software for boarding kennels daycares groomers trainers and things like that if you need a way to keep track of your pets uh, vaccine dates if you need a way to keep track of your pets uh, appointments owner contact information anything like that click here on doggy dashboard uh, and sign up for a free account it's free for your first 10 pets and clients, so you can use it 100% uh, free to see if you like it. You can save some information, play around with it. And if you like Doggy Dashboard, uh, it's $25 to $35 per month, $250 to $350 a year if you want to pay for yearly. And so that's, uh, that's how you use the spreadsheet. If you have any questions, email me, patrick at doggydashboard.com. Otherwise, have a great afternoon. Thanks. Bye.